Hattie was pretty late to meet her milestones. When she was a baby, she didn't crawl until 13 months, didn't really start, a, start talking. We had some therapists come out to the house when she was a baby up until she was three just to start working with her because we noticed that she was d uh, delayed across the board to us as she got older and things weren't really um, improving. So we went to a different doctor and got her diagnosed with autism um, December of 2020 and then still we felt like something was not right. So we elected to do full exome sequencing and um, came back with her diagnosis of SYNGAP1. It was a really, really scary, devastating day, and um, our geneticist couldn't tell us much. She just said, this is what we found. Here you go. Because no doctors know so. anything about it. Or it was really tough. I mean, because then you're scouring the internet looking, you know, what does this mean? And it talks about no cure, you know, and, and you realize what this means to the rest of your life. You're, you know, you're in your 30s. <laughs> You have this plan careful, of your kids careful, growing up careful. and going on vacations and doing okay. these things, and you realize, oh gosh, this really affects. Okay. This is not just. Oh, you okay? Um, this is going to uh -huh. affect every day the rest of my life unless we find some kind of cure. Syngap one is a protein in the brain, and we each have a copy from mom and a copy from dad. It can cause autism. It can cause epilepsy, intellectual disability. She has gastro issues, sleep issues low tone, high pain tolerance, I mean, lots and lots and lots of issues and challenges. And um, it's not degenerative, but she will continue to have more challenges as she gets older. She generally has such a sunny disposition. Mommy, She's really a mommy. cheerful, sweet girl. Hi. It's hard to pin down, like you can yeah. see now. She just, just wants to play, you know? But she's doing great in school. She's loving it. and. Um, we get tons of support there, so. She's being sweet right now, but you know, if we go to the park, for instance, I mean, she could have aggression. She could be the sweetest girl in the world, then all of a sudden her brain fires because, as Melissa was explaining, she only has 50% of this protein. And as you know, the brain connects everything in your body. And because of this, she has all these issues. And like I was saying, we go to the park and she could just go attack a little kid for no reason. So we have to go to the park at different times. She doesn't sleep, she doesn't get REM sleep. And it's almost like you're having a, you're in the baby stage every day of your life. Where she struggles is she wants to be social and she just doesn't have the language. So it's really, that's the part that's really tough for her. And that's, that's where a lot of the aggression can come from is other people not understanding her. Cheers, cheers, and, that's a, and gentle, that, gentle. gentle that's something that I struggle yes. with too, is oh, she awesome. looks so normal. Like there's so many times I told myself, I hate saying this, but I almost wish that yes. she looked different in a way, Chill. just because, you know, if we go to the park, no one understands. Oh. Like if we, if she, Ouchie. we try going okay? to, out to dinner as a family, mm -hmm. and she, laugh, you know, starts screaming or Dear. people look Cheers. at us like we're bad parents. Have no gentle, idea gentle. We're fighting this rare disease. Cheers. We found Syngap Research Fund and we got on the phone with um, hey, the founder, yeah. Mike, and we were just so comforted by the, no, this no, community no. out there because there's there are all these videos of other kids and that had had SYNGAP1 and just a lot of other families and kids just like Hattie. So it, we were all very comforted knowing that there was a community already out there. Can you make some H's for us and and color and then we'll turn it on. Come one minute, okay? A cure a cure would mean everything to us and to our family and. We just are so hopeful, and we we just want to be able to to live a normal life with our with our boys and do a lot of things that we don't get to do because it's just right now it's just so challenging, and um, that's all we want.